Microsoft have recently released their Virtual Appointments app. This app integrates with your booking schedule and allows you to manage your customer engagements better. Install or select the Virtual Appointments app in Teams. The Home tab gives you an overview of the customer queue. On this page you can choose to connect an existing calendar or create a new one. Under the Bookings Schedule tab, you can schedule a meeting with a customer. Click New Booking or choose the day and time on the calendar. Enter the customer's details and choose the type of booking. By default, it will schedule the booking with you, but you can add or replace other team members. Selecting Guest Joins on Teams requires the customer to have Teams installed to join the meeting. Guest Joins on Web allows anyone to join the meeting whether they have Teams installed or not. You can enter a confirmation message with any links or relevant information. Here Teams Premium users can allow for text message notifications to the number entered above. Under the Manage tab, you can enter your business details and add, delete or change appointment types. If you have Teams Premium, you can add on-demand services here too. You can assign staff to be available for customers who book on this calendar and publish or remove the bookings page from the internet. Here you can allow on-demand service requests if you have Teams Premium. Activating this service adds a Meet Now option to your booking page, where your customers can select one of your on-demand services and join a queue to speak to any team member who is available. You can monitor the on-demand queue from the Queue tab in the Virtual Appointments app, as well as any appointments scheduled for the day. The Analytics page shows data related to past virtual appointments. Whether you are a consultant providing advice, or a sales representative connecting with new prospects. Virtual appointments will make doing business easier and faster. Feel free to contact us for more information or a personal walkthrough.